Hello, I'm Helen Bradley and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at the Calendar Wizard in Microsoft Word. Now, the issue with the Calendar Wizard is that it came out like years and years and years ago. So it's really, really old technology, but lots of people really love it. And it's just a really cool tool for making calendars. It does one month calendars. And lots of people love it so much that they're really disappointed that it's no longer shipped with Microsoft Word. Well, there is a way of getting it and making it work. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So first of all, I'm gonna send you to this 2014 blog post that I wrote. And I told you in that, that it would work in 2013 and 2016. And so what you wanna do is go to this blog post. I'm gonna to link to it in the description below. And then you're gonna click here on this. It's a, I said that it's a CAV file. I'm actually gonna change this because it's not actually a CAV file. It's just the WIS file that you're gonna be downloading. So you're going to click on this. And when you do that, you're going to open a Dropbox page and it's going to tell you that you can't see the file. And that's fine because you don't want to see it. You want to download it. Now, somebody put this up on Dropbox. Thank you to them for doing it because it works just wonderfully. So you're going to click to download it and it's going to download into your downloads folder. Now, I have it in my downloads folder, but I actually moved it into a special subfolder called Calendar Wiz. But this is just downloaded direct from that site. So what you're going to do it's the WIZ file that comes down so it's not even in a zip all you need to do is double click on it and what's going to happen is that Microsoft Word is going to open and the calendar wizard is going to start running that simple now if you're curious about what all the fuss is about just hang on while we load this because it really is a pretty cute pretty cool tool Okay, it's going to open in more recent versions of Word in protected view. So you're just going to click to enable editing and then you're going to run it. Now, it's not running right now. It's open, but it's not running. So what I'm going to do is choose view and I'm going to macros and I'm going to choose view macros. And what I want is the macros in the calendar with template. So I'm going to open this macros in drop down list and go and pick up the macros from that template. And I'm just going to click on start wizard and click run and that will launch the wizard. So if it doesn't launch automatically, that's what you're going to do. So you'll just click next. And what you're going to do is choose your style of calendar. Now Jazzy is probably the oldest style of them all. So I kind of like the banner one. So I'm just going to click that. Now you can make it in portrait or landscape mode. I'm going to make mine in landscape and you can decide whether you want to leave room for a picture or not. And really that's one of the key uses for this calendar is to make a picture calendar. So I'm going to say yes to that. Now it gives you your dates. I'm going to start in September 2017. I'm going to go through to August 2018. So it does allow you to create a full year calendar starting whatever month you want, ending whatever month you want. And you know, if you want one month, just put September 2017 to September 2017. If you want a four year calendar, then make it. It's just so flexible as tall. And then just gonna click next and you're gonna click finish and that's it. And so now what it's gonna do is go ahead and make these calendar pages for you. So here are my calendar pages. Now at this stage, you can go ahead and edit your calendar. For example, you can select over all of these cells and you could adjust the placement of the text in the cells. You can adjust the font, all of those things. You can click here on this image and choose insert picture and you can go and find your own picture. Now I've already got one prepared of pretty much the size that it needs to be. I've prepared this image at a size of 322 by 700 pixels and it's pretty near the size that it needs to be in this frame. So that's how to get hold of and download the Calendar Wiz for use in Microsoft Word. And for anybody who just loved that Calendar Wizard, that's how you do it. Thank you for watching this video. Please, as always, if you enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment. And until next time, I'm Helen Bradley.